Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. I apologize for the poor sound quality. There's not a vacuum running in my background. It's something wrong with my headphones, with my PC that I can't get to work right. But anyway, this video is going to show you how to download and install NuNet version 0.1.2, which is the version that now supports Raspberry Pi devices and virtual machines like the one I use. Now, I'm not on a Raspberry Pi, but this will show you how to download and install it if you are on a Raspberry Pi, I suppose, and also if you're on a virtual machine like me. Now, uh, this link will be in the description. Um, you need to go to the onboarding script and then you need to open your terminal. So first you will copy this link, this command, git clone. This is to clone the new, the new version. Paste that in. And then you need to copy this command, which will put you in the mode to make new net commands. Now I've already downloaded, it may take a little longer to download what you need to on yours. Now you're in the correct type of new net onboarding command mode. And then you need to use this fourth command to install it. You need to put in your password. Yeah, it's going through everything again, even though I've already installed it, but this is what will happen for you. It will do all this uninstalling stuff. All right, now it's ready. And yeah, it says mine's already installed. And then lastly, you need to do the onboarding. Okay, I will give it 4,000 megabytes of RAM. Now this, this is the improvement. If you remember in my previous video, it said I had zero megahertz, and now it says I have 3,699 some megahertz. So now that we have virtual machine support, it is able to detect how much megahertz I have in my CPU allocated to this virtual machine. So I'm going to give it 2,000, and then we're going to join the new net private alpha, and I'm going to say no, I do not have an existing address for the test net, and again, this private key doesn't matter, we're not going to be earning money on the... Um, on the private alpha, but once once we're in the public alpha, instead of creating an existing address, you're going to say yes, and you're going to uh, sorry. Instead of creating a new address, um, you're going to say yes, you have an existing address, and you'll paste in your your Ethereum public address. But that um, that's not supported yet. We're not on the main net of Ethereum yet, so we can't get paid for this. But anyway. Yes, we will see the resulting configuration. Now I'm concerned, it still says CPU max zero. Even though it said I had 3,000 some megahertz, it still seems to think I have zero maximum CPU. So I don't know if there's still a bug there that they need to fix, but hopefully it's working properly. So anyway, I've onboarded my device. And again, in order to view it, to actually view your device and see if it's working, you need to go to this localhost 4646. I'll put two links in the description, um, the NuNet 
this onboarding link and also the local host link if you want the if you need the, to install a virtual machine and Ubuntu Linux uh, go to my previous video about how to um, onboard for the new net private alpha but this video is just for if you've already done that um, downloading the new version and then you can check your device on the nomad so here we go yep new net adapter faraday is running news score is pending for some reason it's not working right i guess well it looks like it got another complete so maybe it's pending because nobody's using it right now but i had four complete when i first updated to the new version and it looks like now I've got a fifth complete so that's good and my adapter it now says healthy it used to say unhealthy I think but now it says healthy so I guess this is a good indication that we are successfully supported with virtual machines and let me know if you have a Raspberry Pi device and if you successfully are able to onboard with your Raspberry Pi I think some of the jobs on here um, are already using Raspberry Pi. Yeah, someone put new net adapter Raspberry Pi. So if you don't know, Raspberry Pi is an extremely small, yet still pretty powerful, and also very cheap computer that is good for if you are a developer and you like to code and create things on a computer. But anyway, so that's it. That is how to onboard um, with the new NuNet version 0.1.2 of the private alpha, we're still not on the public Ethereum blockchain, so we can't earn money for providing computer, computing power in NuNet, but it is exciting that they are adding new support um, for more devices like Raspberry Pi. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get uh, Windows operating system support and Mac operating support and then we won't need to use a virtual machine anymore but for now virtual machines are fully supported and so are Raspberry Pis but anyway I have been Mac thank you for joining me for a day and remember everything's going to be okay